All right, so now that we have uh, the frame painted, I left it over there to dry and I pulled out some of the suspension parts. These are the big components that haven't been disassembled or it looks like some of them have been disassembled, cleaned and painted, but that was about 30 years ago. And uh, now I think I'm gonna disassemble them again, clean them and I will see what color I wanna do because I want to do some accent color on some of them. Uh, so I'm gonna clean those and paint them. The towers are here, all the brackets. And according to my list here, I have some more suspension parts in box number two. So I'm gonna go dig into these and the boxes are over there on that cart. Looks like I got lucky again because box number two is right here. All right, let's see what box number two has to offer. Let me just organize a little bit of parts. So this is rear suspension. So let's see what else is in the box. It's like Christmas again. like it's been painted. Primer is feeling though. Okay, I'm sorry kid, but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up all the paint again and I'm gonna paint them one more time. Because I want to have some accent color, I think. I'm not sure what color yet, but I want to have the ARs different color. All right, so I'll start with this, this corner, which is rear something, left or right, I don't know. And it looks like some of the parts have been painted already, but the paint started peeling, so I'm gonna strip it, I'm gonna prime them, and I'm gonna paint them again. And this hardware looks new. I got new bushings for everywhere poly bushings right, so this and this are ready to go to the press for bushing removal this component here I believe has never been disassembled looks like I'm gonna have to test my hub puller hopefully it's gonna work so there's some PV blaster here Yeah, I told so. <laughs> I'll remove the washer from here, but I'm gonna put the nut back in case it comes loose and decides to fly all over the shop. Of course, I'm gonna leave it loose and. <laughs> Now let's mount the puller. Alright, so now the moment of truth. Let's see if something's gonna happen. I guess not with this gun. This one is, I bought used for 20 bucks, I think. So that's what I can expect from it, but just a couple of days ago, actually just before New Year's, uh, Eugene Bulizo contacted me, one of my YouTube uh, subscribers. He rebuilds uh, air tools for a living, so he has two guns for me that he wants to donate and I'm really, um, really thankful for that because this one, as you can see, that's my only one and it is so weak that I'm really upset with so thank you Eugene I'm gonna have to come one day and pick them up but for now I have to work with this help it a little forgot about that okay I'm, I guess I'm gonna leave that for later for when I pick up the impact guns from Eugene and 
for now, I'm gonna keep disassembling the rest. Well, same thing here, really? You know what? I'm gonna leave this whole component for when I have a better gun. This is a piece of sheet metal. Let's take something that has already been disassembled, <laughs> like this for example. We'll take those bolts out. <laughs> One bolt is missing. I hope we'll find it somewhere. Hmm. That's how I like it. The U joints look new. No play, nothing. I'm not gonna touch the U joints. Brand new. So this will go in the hardware. These parts, as they are from one corner, are ready for bushing removal and after that painting. So you see this bushing is... <laughs> well, there's still some rubber in it. So this now, I'm gonna try to pull out first the insert. Nice. These are new, I know, but you see? New, but they break like glass. Now that I started painting, I should just go with the bed liner and paint the frame too. And I'm gonna use the same track bed liner on the suspension parts. It's black, but uh, some of them, after, are, after they are painted with this, I'm going to uh, color change to something else, but at least I'm going to have the truck bed liner underneath to have a good uh, durability, and then I'm going to change the color. Alright, the next batch is gonna be front suspension. The 
the tronion looks nice and solid, which is good. So this is going to be polished on the wire wheel, the bench grinder. The springs, I don't know what to do. Should I set up a bat of electrolysis? Or should I sandblast them? But the sandblaster is very dusty. And I have an engine disassembled there. I have a TR3 engine that I'm rebuilding currently. And I don't want to sandblast parts there. This ball joint looks solid. Good. The boot is nice. So I'm guessing this is a new ball joint. Do you remember my homemade spring compressor? That's gonna take forever. Okay, so I took even the second spring out, so I can dip them into my electrolysis bath and de-rust them because they, they need to be cleaned. There's a lot of rust on them and you will see my electrolysis method. If you haven't seen it before, it worked really well for me, so I hope it is going to work the same this time. So here they are, the springs are dipped into the bat and how this works is you have two sacrificial pieces, um, these are big chunks of metal, they are connected together with this wire and the positive terminal from a battery charger is connected to them. Uh, the two springs, now you can't see them anymore, but they are hooked up with this wire and this wire is connected to this bar and this bar is connected to the negative terminal of course of the um, of the battery charger and i made sure the springs inside don't touch the sacrificial pieces because that's going to shorten you know so the only conductive thing between between the springs and the sacrificial pieces is the water and the water is about 20 liters and there is also in it I put this pH plus which supposedly replaces uh, washing soda which is very important not baking soda it's different because baking soda is soda bicarbonate this should be washing soda which is just sort of carbonate and um, someone told me how you can turn uh, soda bicarbonate to a soda carbonate but I don't want to deal with that I just use this which is basically the same thing according to the um, according to the explanation here at the back so I used it before and it worked so I'm using it again so I put uh, six uh, spoons per 10 liters as far as I remember well that was the 
amount and once the battery charger is turned on you should see your derusting pieces start bubbling and my started right away so that works well and supposedly in a couple of hours I'm gonna leave it at least for 24 hours all the rust from the springs is gonna go to the sacrificial pieces and believe me it works if you haven't seen my video about that I'm gonna put a link to that here All right, the next batch is ready for painting. Actually, no, first I have to remove the bushings from here and then we can paint it. And um, yeah, only the caliper I can't paint, be I can't paint because I need uh, the caliper paint. So let's go pull out some bushings. So it's been about two hours already and you see all the rust is coming on the surface of the water which is a good sign. So I'm guessing by tomorrow lunchtime they will be ready so I'm gonna pull them out, I'm gonna wash them and I'll show you the result. You saw what they looked like before and you will see the result after. If you want to keep watching this okay I'm gonna let you watch it but I'm gonna go home all right see you tomorrow bye all right guys so it's the next day here and I started already lining up the ready painted parts here these are the parts from one front and one rear suspension corner and I'm uh, working now on disassembling the the other front corner and the other rear corner is still under there and you remember I have to put the hub here but my impact gun is still uh, is uh, very weak so tonight I'm picking up the gun that I told you about from Eugene who generously donated it to me so that's probably gonna be disassembled tomorrow or maybe I'm gonna try again today and uh, uh, this is this has been about maybe 15 16 hours but you know what I told you I'm gonna let them sit for about 24 hours but I will check them out I will put them out I'm gonna wash them and I'll see what the result is if they need more I'm gonna dip them again but I'm guessing that's enough First of all, we turn the battery charger off so we don't short on anything. And let's pull the springs out. Oh, yeah, I can tell they've been de rusted good. But they still need to be washed. If you leave them like that, there is a thin layer of them, something on them, so it needs to be washed. So there they are, all washed and dried, and now they are ready for paint. Oh, there you are. Another batch of parts to be painted.
All right, so I have almost all the suspension parts from the three corners um, cleaned up, painted, the springs, the tower is over there, some other parts are on another bench over there, here. So I have nothing else to do but to start uh, to try and disassemble this thing again and I put it on the vise and I'll, I hope that this time it's gonna work I'm gonna use a big breaker bar this one over here and hopefully it's gonna work because that's the last thing that I need to disassemble clean and paint so I'm guessing it's loosened a little because look there's a lot of play Either there's something wrong with the hub or I managed to loosen it yesterday. We'll see. Hmm. Need to find some mo something more solid. Maybe like that. For me before it worked for David Ryan he managed to remove the two hubs on his GT6 if you haven't watched uh, David's channel I'm gonna put a link here he's restoring a 1969 or 1968 depends how you look at it uh, GT6 just watch his videos and you uh, know what I mean but he borrowed my tool and he used it and he said he managed to remove his hubs so it should work for me too again okay, I'm gonna remove it just to see what's going on underneath maybe I'm running out of threads hmm, that's possible Yeah, so actually it is almost out, but I was running out of thread here. I thought once it comes out, it comes out. But it looks like it doesn't come out once it's out. If the tool doesn't work, I'm gonna pull it out by hand. Am I strong or what? My homemade tool worked again for those who are criticizing me that I'm wasting time doing it. Remember guys? I won't mention names because I'm still mad. <laughs> Just okay. Still doesn't come out though. Well. We'll see what's wrong with that. Axel is out. I think I have a rebuilding kit. Wow, how did the nut go through? Oh my god, even the nut went through. That's what's that's why it wasn't coming out. Really? Wow. Don't be like me guys. Don't pass the nut through the splines. <laughs> Alright, this donut is soft. I have only one new that came with the car but maybe this one is new as well I don't know, no, this part was, wasn't disassembled at all so I hope it's gonna hold if not I'm gonna change it as it is on the car alright so now everything is disassembled and I can finally proceed with the cleaning Yesterday I was, my back hurt it from bending a little bit to this bench, so today 
I made my bench a little bit higher. Right, and finally the last batch of parts is going for paint. Right, so the last batch of parts is hanging here, it is primed, but I ran out of uh, truck bed liner. I used five cans so far for the frame and for all the parts, and it looks like I will need one more. So I'm going to pass by the store today, and I'm going to bring one more tomorrow. The rest of the parts are over there. So we have everything lined up here and I left space here for the <coughs> for the other rear suspension so tomorrow I'm gonna pick up actually tonight I'm gonna have to make up my mind about the color that I want to do accent and I guess it's gonna be red but still I'm thinking and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna pick up also another can of color whatever color I decide and I'm gonna spray the springs and uh, that's gonna be for the front I think that's gonna be everything I was thinking maybe the A arms but not sure yet and for the rear suspension I'm gonna spray probably I'm gonna spray this silver the trailer arm and maybe that's gonna be it for the rear suspension so hope probably Maybe I should spray the springs uh, silver too. Eh, not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna decide on the color, but tomorrow I'm gonna have to finish that and hopefully we will start assembling tomorrow. I have to make sure that I have all the parts because uh, I think I might miss some um, hub rebuilding kits. Not sure what I have in the boxes, what came with the car but i will see and if i can i'm gonna start assembling tomorrow or in saturday because i need to finish by the weekend if i don't have all the parts i'm not even gonna start assembling because i don't want to get stuck in the middle so that's it for today guys i'll see you in my next video